Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, uh, I want to talk to you guys about a way of growing figs that I have never seen before. Never seen it done like this. So it's really exciting. It's very inspirational. Um, it's something that I'm going to be doing definitely in the future, at least trying it. Um, and it's just a nice change of pace from like kind of how cold it is and how there's nothing really going on. There's nothing growing. So this is a nice thing to see and I'm really uh, impressed. So I want to thank this person here on our figs who created this this thread. Um, it's called has anyone used this method for, for growing figs and then this person Sparky had uh, created the thread and you know he, he gives like his pros and cons and he's got some photos here but the photos are really all you need and um, what I'm what this method is essentially doing is that you are taking a potted fig tree you're drilling holes in the side of the pots um, not just the drainage holes at the bottom but on a higher level you're creating um, also more drainage holes at the bottom um, and then you're basically putting those above grade on top of wood chips and then covering them all with wood chips and essentially what this is doing is you're getting a an easy to like to find um, a very cheap resource that is wood chips and you're allowing your fig trees to root out into that throughout the growing season because um, you can see here this is one season's worth of growth of all these roots that are coming out of the sides of the pot right so this is pretty cool and what this does essentially is it allows for a, a bigger tree um, overall a healthier tree um, it, it definitely gets you a more consistent soil moisture and it allows you that you don't have to water nearly as often um, you probably don't have to feed nearly as often um, you can probably afford to feed a lot less so for me even though it is wood chips and the wood chips do steal a lot of that nitrogen when they break down um, I really don't see it as a big issue I think it's overall a wonderful thing um, not only is the you getting this benefit of having this extra root mass that's outside the pot now is that you're then also getting more heat at least I would expect and if you weren't this is where I kind of want to play around with this and sort of take this method here to potentially the next level um, see how this could be improved in some way um, because it's all about heat when it comes to figs you know like a lot of people will start their melon plants or their tomato plants on top of compost piles or they'll they'll use compost that's quite warm or some kind of uh, warming effect to get the root zones of these plants warmer because it's all about the root temperatures guys we talk a lot about heat we've done a lot of videos comparing the amount of sun to the amount of heat and what the real difference is there it's really all in the heat though especially at that root level because then metabolically the 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 tree the fig tree is very active you know they're kind of like a cold-blooded insect is what I like to describe them as and that cold-blooded insects or even dinosaurs let's say lizards they don't really do anything um, when it's cold they kind of just go in like the state of hibernation and don't really in the case of insects a lot of them die right um, and they have to find some way to be warm um, and if it's cold outside they're not really actively flying around that's that's really why we don't see them um, in a lot in high in number at least in the winter times um, so it's the same thing with the fig in that they need a specific root temperature uh, particularly the most optimal is around 78 degrees Fahrenheit anywhere between 75 and 80 is really the sweet spot maybe you can go to 85 and 90 but when you start getting actually over 95 it's actually too hot but if you're in like something like 60 it's too cold and that's usually what our springs look like outside is that even though we can put them on our patio we can put them on a black top or concrete um, these potted figs, they just don't really get nearly as much heat as we would like. So if we can f devise some sort of system, and I know, you know, if you guys have ever gotten wood chips delivered to your house, right, they're never not just wood chips. There are always some leaves in there and other materials that are then creating a big compost pile. Uh, you'll see like a day after the truck 
drops it off at your house, the thing's steaming. Um, so pretty, pretty soon after, I would imagine if you got a load of wood chips in the spring and you were to do this method, um, they would break down and create that heat that you want early in the spring. And that's where the money is. That's where all this whole thing really comes in. Because eventually in the spring, you know, it's maybe not that warm. But later in the season, when it is the summer, it is going to be warm. And you're not going to need these wood chips. But in the spring, you're really going to get that big benefit. And you're going to have a hugely successful season. Like an astronomical difference between um, having less heat. Like let's say in the month of May when my frost is is gone I have no chance of frost um, if I have average soil temperatures in the 50s versus having average soil temperatures in the 60s that's a huge difference like I know I said that 60 doesn't really do a whole lot but 50 really doesn't do a whole lot um, and it's really a big jump exponentially as you go up so the difference between 60 and 70 is quite big and then 70 and 80 is also quite big. So if we can somehow get this going, metabolically, the metabolisms of these plants are going to be, they're going to go, right? They're going to, it's like they're going to be on some kind of drug <laughs> and you're going to be amazed. Um, so for me, that's where the money is here in all this, this whole method. You know, you could ignore the fact that it puts out all these extra roots. Um, you know, I think a lot of people are going to get hung up on that and say, all right, well, the tree's bigger. It's got more roots. It's, you know, it's you don't have to water it as often. You don't have to feed it. Um, or maybe some people will get hung up on maybe you do have to feed it more. You know, I mean, there's a lot of ways to look at this. But the real thing that everybody should be paying attention to with this method is the fact that we're making it warmer. And... That's also sort of up for debate because I'm not entirely sure how much warmer it's making them. But definitely in the spring, if you got the right wood chips, maybe if instead of wood chips we used compost that was already breaking down, maybe we took them from the compost pile, moved them over to this location, um, or maybe this already was an existing compost pile. I don't know. I do know that it's going to be a big benefit in the spring. Um, now, here's where this can be a bit hair, haywire here. And then we can talk about how we should maybe improve this in the future. Because maybe this isn't the best. Maybe this isn't going to work exactly as I think it is, right? We don't know. I mean, I've only seen one person ever do this. Um, I don't think they took soil temperature readings. So we definitely need to try this ourselves to get a great evaluation. But what I have done here is I have semi buried my potted fig trees. And I did this for years where, uh, well actually I only did it for one year because I realized that this wasn't the method that I was hoping it was going to be. It wasn't nearly as um, amazing as I thought. So you can see by this bed is that we had basically planted these five gallon size pots. You can see the size right here, they're about, 10 inches wide by 10 inches tall or maybe 11 or 12 inches something like that and we buried in the beginning of the spring in May we buried them about 75% of the way underground I dug a hole and I just plopped them in there and then I actually covered the soil with uh, with wood chips there's definitely some some mulch that was put down here um, and essentially what this had done is a very similar method to what this other guy did on our figs, this post that we just talked about, is that I have these drainage holes at the bottom. I didn't create any more holes, but I did get a lot of them when I dug them up in the spring. A lot of them had a lot of roots that came out of those drainage holes at the bottom. It was nice because I didn't have to water them as much. I didn't have to feed them as much. These very small trees that you're looking at here in the spring ended up becoming very large trees by the fall. The issue is, is that I, I just didn't get the heat that I was looking for in the spring. And therefore, when the fall came around, my production was very low. Um, and because my production was very low, at the end of the day, 
that's an issue, right? Because we're, we're not growing figs for wood or for leaves. We're growing them for fruit. So if I don't have enough heat here in this climate, especially, this is a very bad method. And you could improve this, you know, let's not bury them 75%. Let's bury only the very bottom of the pot, get it to root out that way. And that way it's still above grade and we can have access to all that ambient heat that's in the air, right? Those air temperatures are gonna help specifically make the root temperatures in the pots warmer than they would in the ground, at least on average in the spring, right? So the ground temperatures can be quite warm, but usually it takes them a bit longer to warm up in the spring. And that's really where the pots have that big advantage. That's why we grow figs in pots to begin with, is to get them off to an earlier start. We can wake them up sooner, and we can also give them more heat than we can the in-ground trees. Now, I've learned in the last few years that, believe it or not, the, the potted trees don't actually fruit so much significantly earlier than the in-ground trees, believe it or not. Because if we can warm up the ground, we can still actually compete with the potted trees. And it's really only about a two week difference here that we're talking about. But still, every little degree of temperature really matters and counts towards this objective here. But again, I still don't really recommend this. I think a better idea is using this method because we're above grade maybe we're maybe we're covering the sides of the pots too much i don't know but we do need a specific amount of wood chips a specific amount of material for that to compost for that to um have that uh, that active ability in the pile because if we don't have enough material in the pile it's not going to do anything it's just going to sit there and um, if we don't act even have the right components in the pile either it's gonna sit there and it's not gonna do anything. So the pile has to be a certain height and a certain width and it's kind of tricky. And it's, you know, this whole thing I think needs a bit of refining, you know what I mean? I think this is not something that you can just throw on wood chips and say, wow, that's gonna be amazing, right? Um, you know, I think by looking at these photos, you can tell that like this tree specifically put out a ton of new growth. Um, I don't know how much these trees fruited for this person, but these trees over here look like they put out a lot of nice new growth, which is good to see. Maybe not this back tree over here because it doesn't look all that healthy. Uh, but this tree over here looks like it put out some nice growth towards the top. You can see there's a lot of growth points and this person should have thinned out the new growth on their tree and they probably would have had a more productive tree this way. But um, this tree specifically really is a nice example, I think, the one closest to us in this pot. Um, even though we can't see the entire top canopy of the tree, I think it's very obvious that um, it did put out a lot of growth. So that's nice. Um, whether or not it put out a lot of fruit, that's questionable. But the whole idea here and the objective of getting a lot of fruit will come true assuming we have the root temperatures here because mulch actually does cool things down right if we don't have the right activity going on in this these wood chip piles we're actually defeating the purpose in a way um, and i would just say let's bring them back on the patio because if we can't get this i think to have that compost active ability that that it can have in the spring then what's the point um i don't think this really is all that worth it, it is above grade um we just i just don't really know without checking the soil temperatures here with all these wood chips especially surrounding the sides of the pot um i could see this working out really well in the south or really well in like you know hotter drier climates um, but for me in a shorter season place, you know, us in the north, wherever you guys are at, this may not be to your benefit. Um, and we would have to make sure that the pile was active and the pile was warm, warming up the roots of our trees. Because if not, like I said, it's actually a negative. 
So I would like to see what you guys have in mind for this idea. How would you guys increase the heat here um, to get the same sort of effect? I don't think this rooting its, uh, itself outside the pot really all that matters. I'm more concerned about, at least in this climate, getting more heat around my figs. And it's particularly my potted figs, um, I think is the, is the real money maker right there. So I'm interested in hearing what you guys have come up with because I know a lot of you guys come up with some great ideas on this kind of thing. You never know. You know, you, you share one idea with somebody uh, or a couple people and, then you, and it turns into something even better than you originally thought you had. So I think um, I'm putting this one out there to you guys to see what, what you guys come up with and see what uh, we can brainstorm on here. I don't know. I think that active component of the compost pile is going to be of the utmost importance. Maybe if you just used compost in general, that would work better. What other material could we even use, right? Maybe we're thinking of the wrong material. Uh, maybe there's something better out there um, that we could potentially use. But really, it's just soil and or wood chips or gravel, but... Uh, you know, that's probably not going to be the best either is gravel. So I think really the only things we can work with here would be wood chips or soil or some other material, some other mulch material. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, but then again, it would have to it would have to stay warm for most of the spring, this pile. So you'd have to get a pretty darn big pile of wood chips every year that was active for this I think to be worth it so I don't know hopefully you guys got something out of this this is another way to do it um, just like our semi burying method here I'm glad that uh, I could bring this to everybody's attention if you're not a part of our figs you might want to consider joining it's a great community um, check out our blog, figboss.com, and Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already. And uh, we'll see you guys soon, all right? Take care, everybody.